Hey folks, it's Ken and Data Monkey back again, and in this week's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about dimensional modeling techniques. Specifically, if we take a look here, I have a table of sales data and budget data, and I have a category column between each one. I want to link these together, but when I do, I keep getting told that there are duplicate values so the relationship can't be created. So I want to show you how we deal with this particular problem. So I'm going to go and say OK. I'm going to jump back over to Excel, and I'm going to go and modify my sales table that happens to hold one of these category columns. So I'm in staging sales right now, and here's how I'm going to go and spin off the first level of this. We're going to go uh, right-click on staging sales. I'm going to reference this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on category, remove other columns, right-click on category again, remove duplicates. Now, a lot of people would call it a day and just load this to the data model, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this one, and we're going to call it Staging Sales Categories. I'm also going to do the same thing to the budgets table. So I'm going to go right-click and reference, right-click, remove other columns, right-click and remove duplicates. We now have a list of just of our budget categories. So let me just go and rename this one here as well. It was a little tricky apparently. And we're going to call this one staging budget categories. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load both of these as connections just to make sure that I've got both of them created. And now instead of just loading these things to the data model, either one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and reference my sales categories, bring it back into Power Query. I'm now going to append my budget categories to it. We'll say OK. I'm going to right click, remove duplicates, and set this to be a text data type. What I'm going to do now is rename this and just call it categories. So here we go. This is the recipe that I use to create what we call a bridge table in the data model. And this one I'm going to load to my data model completely. So here we go. We'll add to data model and say OK. And now I can go, once it's loaded, open up my data model, and I can link this to both places. Now, why would I do this? Let me just go and hide this from client tools here. Well, the answer comes down to the fact that right now, my values, unique values are the same in both tables, so it doesn't look like it makes any difference. But what if somebody were to come back here and say, hey, this table is going to have liquor in it, but this one over here is going to have spirits. If I choose one table and remove the duplicates, I'm going to miss the value from the other table. So this way here, by creating a unique list in both tables, appending it and then deduplicating it again, I make sure that I'm never going to run into an issue where I've got a missing value on one side when I'm creating my bridge table. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.